have a lot of people that this is the highlight of their life. You can see they're just kind of starting to flower, and these will be the last strawberries that'll still be producing at the beginning of summer. Oh, I love strawberries. A lot of people said they never liked strawberries until they started eating our fresh ones, and then they take a bite and they said, this doesn't taste nothing like the stores, you know. It's, theirs is more like cardboard, where ours is just juicy, you know. It's a 12 to 13 month process to grow strawberries on this land. Froberg's farm is a working family farm where we invite our community, the greater Houston area, to come to our ground to experience food in a whole new way. Oh, there's a big difference. When you go to the grocery store to buy strawberries, those varieties have been developed to take shipping across many miles. When you come to our farm, we grow varieties that have been developed to pick fresh so that every bite is sweet and juicy. There's Grandma Froberg. <laughs> Grandma gets to do whatever she wants to do. <laughs> Before I married my husband, he used to bring strawberries to my mother. She asked my dad, he said, why does he bring me all those strawberries? He's trying to fatten the cow to get the calf. <laughs> The farm was founded by my great-grandfather, Fred Froberg, in 1936. Pick your own fruit is not a new concept here at Froberg's farm. In 1936, he was using young men to pick the strawberries. Strawberries was the main crop. Uh, Alvin was famous for strawberries. And in 1942, when World War II broke out, he lost all his labor to the draft. So he had a crazy idea he was going to get started and let people pick their own. And from that day forward, that's how we got started, was people came out and picked their own and uh, he hired no more labor to pick the berries. If it's your first time out to Froberg's farm, we make the process as fun and tasty as possible. When you come into the store, you'll be greeted by our friendly staff and you'll receive a strawberry picking bucket before walking out into our vast strawberry field and filling that bucket. You'll then come back into the store and pay by the pound. Most of our strawberries in this country comes from California. Well, they can pick them. It's gonna take them at least a week to get them to the consumer. The people here can pick them and that night they can go back and make strawberry shortcake or, or any kind of strawberry dessert and it's fresh. It's fresh is always best. One of the most rewarding things as a farmer is to look out in the field and see families enjoying your crop. Like when a family comes out for the first time, they pick a strawberry and bite into it and they're just enjoying all the sweetness. Everybody calls me Grandma Froberg. <laughs> oh, I love to see people. <laughs> Some people have been coming since I started coming here. And I think this is the best place in the world to live is Alvin. Everybody cares about everybody in health. In the spring, uh, March and April, we have what we call our strawberry festival. Of course, you can pick strawberries and then we have a few activities for the kids to do. And then one of our biggest times of year is our fall festival. That's in October. And we have our pumpkin patch, our corn maze, and then all different kinds of games and things for families. Our store is open seven days a week. Uh, we have a nice bakery in there. We sell all kind of fresh, fresh produce and then we make a lot of jellies and jams. Uh, we sell a complete line of uh, trail mixes and nuts. I believe we're giving them exactly what they want right now is a day at the farm that they can forget about their problems. When they come out to the fall festival, the strawberry festival, it's like they forget about all their problems, you know, for just a few hours. And that's, that's what we want to continue to do. This is a business that's going to be here forever. Most farms today are struggling. And so continuing to make our family farm works means we have to continue to adapt, which is why we invite all of you, our community, to come out and experience the farm. Y'all come to Alvin and meet, come to the Froberg farm and we'll show you a good time.